Welcome to Kansas City, where every drink tells a story. We journey through Kansas City's boozy wonderland, where breweries and bars are not just places to grab a drink, but portals into the city's past. From hidden speakeasies to breweries, this city is filled with tantalizing hops and spirits. Let's get sipsy, y'all. located it in an alley and it's known for their craft cocktails. What does this mean? Light is green, that means good. We knock on the door, they have room for us. All right, go ahead. Housed in a basement boiler room, Swordfish Tom's intimate bar screams prohibition speakeasy vibes. The bar itself is very small, but these unique cocktails have some seriously big flavors. So I got the Invisible City, which is, uh, it. <laughs> just look this up. Blend of whiskey, brandy, and scotch. Cocktail is fantastic, but the best part, it comes with a cookie. It's the little things, dear. It is little things. Anytime your drink comes with snacks, it's a great thing. I got what's called the kids table. I'm just gonna read you what is in there. Dry whiskey, spice liqueur, cognac, sweet potato puree, and it's toasted with a little vanilla meringue. It's super neat. You get, go through an alley. You have to find the correct door go down a flight of stairs, and then there's another door where you have to knock to see if you can get in, and if there's room, and then they come and get you, and then you get to come in. And it's very dark, as any speakeasy should be, so you can barely see us here. We can barely see the menus, but it just sets the ambiance. I love speakeasy vines that actually follow the traditional, let's go hide it somewhere, and they have to go find it. Although I am typically the person that misses all the clues and walks around like an idiot trying to find it. I don't. <laughs> Right. <laughs> when you've been in the dark, very bright outside. That was honestly a great, great stop. Highly suggest it. It was a lot of fun. Love the speakeasy stuff. Highly recommend it. Paul. Paul. I got it. I got it. Tomstown Distilling is the first legal distillery in downtown Kansas City since Prohibition. This distillery also happens to be the official distillery for the Kansas City Chiefs, which explains this massive mural on the side of the building. Where's Taylor Swift though? This is probably painted before this season. Tomstown Distilling produces premium craft spirits, including bourbons, gins, and vodkas. It is Thirsty Thursday. We just got off work and we're going to head downtown and check out some breweries. Alma Mater Brewing is a microbrewery specializing in hop forward craft beers. The tap room was warm and inviting with lots of seating. I tried their Parlay, a Pilsner brew with exclusively French hops. Chris tried their Pattern Variation, a New England Hazy IPA. Well, we tried to go to Boulevard, but they are closed for a private event. So we're going to circle back to them hopefully later this weekend. If not, it just means we're going to have to come back to KC. City Barrel Brewery is crafting some innovative craft beers for Kansas City. We shared a flight consisting of a mango tropical sour, two IPAs, and a Maybach, which were all delicious. High Dive Lounge is a dive bar that has a beer vending machine. You can order a mystery beer for $3, which Chris ordered for round one and got a Bud Ice. We realized that Chris has not checked in a Bud Ice before. It was his mystery beer from the vending machine. It's not that bad. I have not had a Bud Ice since 
college. Here we go. Oh my god, it really isn't that bad. I was expecting more like a mold, like a Colt 45. It's not that bad. I got one of my personal favorite. I'm on Chucky. These beers are three bucks. They came out of the vending machine. You cannot beat it. We both just ordered mystery beers, and here they come. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shoot. Yeah. Dang it. I freaking put my foot in my mouth. Mm. Guess who's going to be drinking this? So excited. To wash it down, we grabbed an order of pretzel sticks. Would you order a mystery beer from here? Let us know in the comments below. Boulevard was closed when we came here uh, yesterday, or the day before. It is open, so we're gonna go check it out. Gorgeous, gorgeous weather out. Not, not really that surprised. Two years ago, I was all by myself. It's not really a fun place to be by yourself. But this is like a huge beer bowl, huge communal tables. Not really fun to be at by yourself. So, you might not have a friend here this time. They have two different places to grab beer. You can grab it from their experimental station over here, which we're going to do next. But we got one from the regular one. We both got some pints. It's busy. We didn't get flight. We got some pints. We have some trivial pursuits. We're gonna hang out here for a bit and enjoy. We are gonna go to Jack Stack's Barbecue, but the wait is ridiculous. So we ordered takeout instead. We drank some extra beers at Boulevard and I'm gonna go pick out the take up now. We ordered pulled pork, burnt ends, brisket, and a side of mac and cheese and beans. So amazing. Good morning. We're doing laundry this morning before we head on out. This is our last full day in KC. It is absolutely stunning out. It is gorgeous. It's supposed to be in the 70s today. So we're gonna get cleaned up and we're gonna head out to see what other adventures we can find. Our first stop was Strange Days Brewing, which came highly recommended to us from a few locals. With several styles of beers on tap, you'll have a tough choice to make. I went with a sour and Chris grabbed a hazy pale ale. A five minute walk is River Bluff Brewing. Housed in a pre-prohibition brewery, they offer a rotating selection of beers. Founded in 1887, J. Riker and Company offers spirit lovers a peek into the alcohol history in KC. They produce a large variation of spirits, including their core whiskeys, gins, vodkas, as well as specialty releases. While we didn't make the reservations in time, this is also the location of the Hey Hey Club, a well-known speakeasy. We enjoyed our cocktails, but might have enjoyed the large slide even more. <laughs> <laughs> we caught up with some friends at Restless Spirits, a family-owned distillery that focuses on Irish-style spirits. They offer a unique variation of botanical gin and Irish whiskeys and even specialty spirits. We split a flight of their whiskeys and tried some cocktails. Directly across the street was our final stop of the evening at Cinder Block Brewery. We are enjoying some incredible food from an on-site restaurant that they have. The beer I have is so good. Vietnamese coffee milk stout, and it is absolutely delectable. Chris got the porter, it's super good. We are absolutely destroying some tachos with some pulled pork. And as a side, we got, I think it's a whiskey bread of some sort. It said whiskey, so we got it. So good. Everything we've had so far is just so good. Highly suggest getting some food when you come here. Mm -hmm. It has been an absolutely epic 
week here in Kansas City and we are so sad to be leaving but we're actually heading towards Arkansas which is going to be our 44th state and we'll be doing our next video on that. But seriously, thank you so much for watching. It means the literal world to us. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode.